Hi, I'm Nathan Creswell, the Product Manager for Zwar for Salesforce, and I'm here today to talk to you about an important piece of functionality in our recent Titanium release called Components and Plugins. Now, with our uh, Titanium release in Zwar for Salesforce, you may have heard us throwing around the word components a lot. Now, components are an extremely useful Salesforce concept. But we realize not everyone is familiar with the Salesforce platform, so we wanted to do a quick review of these wonderful and incredible components. It's important to understand two key characteristics of components, their functionality and their scope. So at a high level, Salesforce custom components allow you to package a common design pattern into a reusable structure which can quickly be added to one or more Visual Force pages. Now, instead of having to completely recode an attribute every time you want to use it on a Visual Force page, you can just reference a component with a single line of code. So that addresses their functionality. But at what scope do these components operate? Do you use them when you want to save the hassle of recoding a button? Or do you use them when you want to package and reuse an entire Visual Force page? Well, the answer is that the scope of a component is really what you make of it. You can make a single button a component, saving you the time needed to code that single button, but you can also make an entire Visual Force page a component, saving you the time needed to code and configure an entire page. As you can see, components are absolutely critical when it comes to reducing the amount of coding and time needed to set up your Salesforce environment. Now I bet you're wondering how components are used in Zwara. So, as you can see in this illustration, we have page level and user interface components. The page components largely represent the steps in our quoting flow. So, for example, the billing account selector, the create quote, the product selector, all of these are page level components. The UI components represent just that, the user interface components in our flow. So, examples of these are the notification component, the list components, the property components, and many, many more. So when choosing components, consider the level of customization and control you want over the UI. Do you want macro page level control of your, of your page, uh, for like our billing account selector component? Or do you want more micro or section or feature level control of your page, like using our mutton component? So it doesn't stop there, because we've also created a component registration screen that allows you to see all the components in our quoting application, register your own components, and most importantly, extend or override plugins related to those components. What's a plugin, you ask? I'm glad you asked. So, Zuora has taken the concept of components one step further with plugins. We've taken the plugin concept in Salesforce's visual workflow and have used it to enhance what is possible with components in Zwar for Salesforce. So with a small piece of Apex code called a plugin, you can do one of two things. You can extend the existing logic of a component. So, for example, our code executes and then your code executes. This is the most common use case for plugins. Or you can override the existing logic of a component. So for example, your code will override our code. Components have plugin interfaces, which allow you to quickly add a plugin script to an existing component. In order to interact with plugins, our components have been built with plugin interfaces. These interfaces act as the glue between components and plugins and allow your components to interact with your plugin. So this all comes off as very abstract, so perhaps it's best explained with an example which I can illustrate from our component registration page. Take, for example, our create quote component which is a page level component, the second step in our out-of-the-box quoting process. Say I want to default some fields on the page. There is no quote created yet, so I can't use a Salesforce workflow rule. It's a managed package, so I can't edit the custom field default values. I can, however, use Zwar's plugin technology. I can simply write a small Apex plugin, which I then implement in my, into my component, and voila. I now have all my fields defaulted when I go to enter my quote data making for faster quotes and a faster sales process. So thanks for your time and I hope you enjoyed this uh, small insight into components and plugins 
and uh, tune in for more in this series on how to use uh, components and plugins in Zwar for Salesforce.